Hi, everyone. Welcome to Plar Academy. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support and encouragement motivate me to create more great videos. I divide the topics in Unit 1, Mechanics and Materials as as follows, like this. And all the topics are covered by following the syllabus of the Physics International A level for Edexcel, as shown here. In this video, I've covered all of Topic 1, Mechanics, focusing on motion and the subtopics of velocity, acceleration, and motion graphs. Distance and displacement. Distance is the total length of the path traveled by an object. Distance is a scalar quantity, and its unit is the meter. Displacement is the directed distance from the start to the end points. Displacement is a vector quantity, and its unit is the meter. When a ball travels along a circular track from point A to point B, the distance traveled from A to B is half of the circumference of the circle. The displacement is the diameter of a circle, and its direction point from A to B, or downward or south. When a ball travels back to point A, the distance traveled from point A to return at point A is equal to the circumference of a circle. The displacement is equal to zero. This is because the ball has returned to its original position. Speed and velocity. Speed is the rate of change in distance. Speed is a scalar quantity and its unit is meters per second. Velocity is the rate of change in displacement. Velocity is a vector quantity and its unit is meters per second. The sign, positive or negative, in front of the velocity indicates the direction of the object's motion. The magnitude of velocity is equal to speed when an object travels in a straight line and does not change its direction. For example, a car travels with constant speed up and down the hill, as shown. While its speed remains constant, its velocity is not constant due to the changing direction of movement. A car is traveling at an initial velocity u for t seconds reaches a final velocity v and covers a displacement of s meters. Assuming constant acceleration. The average velocity is u plus v over 2. The total displacement moved is s meters. The total time is t seconds. The equation for displacement can be rearranged as s is u plus v divided by 2 multiplying of t. This formula is used for only constant accelerated motion in a straight line. Acceleration Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. Acceleration is a vector quantity, and its unit is meters per second squared. Therefore, the equation of acceleration is A equals V minus U over T. This formula comes from IGCSE. This equation can be rearranged as V equals U plus A, T. This formula is used for only constant accelerated motion in a straight line. When V equals U, meaning that the acceleration is zero, there is no change in velocity, and the object moves with constant velocity. When v is greater than u, meaning that the acceleration is positive, the velocity is increasing, and the object is accelerating. When v is less than u, meaning that the acceleration is negative, the velocity is decreasing, and the object is decelerating. Motion graphs. Displacement time graph. Its gradient is change in displacement over change in time, which is equal to velocity. So, the gradient of a displacement time graph is velocity. While its area under graph does not have a meaning. Velocity time graph. Its gradient is change in velocity over change in time, which is equal to acceleration. So, the gradient of velocity time graph is acceleration. The area under graph in this case is a trapezium shape, which is u plus v over 2 multiplying of t. So, its area under graph is displacement moved. An acceleration time graph shows how an object's acceleration changes over time. Here is the acceleration time graph. You see that the area under graph is the acceleration a multiple by the time t, which is the change in velocity, delta v. So, the area under the acceleration time graph is change in velocity. While its gradient is not meaning, the acceleration time graph is shown, like this. A positive acceleration is the acceleration, the velocity increases. 
A negative acceleration is the deceleration, the velocity decreases. If the acceleration is zero, then the object is moving with constant velocity. We can find the change in velocity for 4 seconds from the area under graph. The area above the x-axis for 2 seconds is the positive. This area is formed the triangle like this. So, the area equals half times 10 times 2, which is positive 10 meters per second. The area below the x-axis for 2 seconds to 4 seconds is the negative. This area is formed the triangle like this. So, the area equals half times negative 10 times 2, which is negative 10 meters per second. Therefore, the change in velocity for 4 seconds is 10 minus 10 equals 0. The graph shows how the displacement of an object moving in a straight line varies over time t, as shown. Recall that the gradient of a displacement time is velocity. As the gradient increases, the velocity increases. As the gradient is constant, the velocity is constant. As the gradient decreases, the velocity decreases. As the gradient is zero, the velocity is zero. As the gradient is negative and increasing, the velocity is increasing in the opposite direction. As the gradient is negative and constant, the velocity is constant in the opposite direction. As the gradient is negative and decreasing, the velocity is decreasing in the opposite direction. Sketch the velocity time graph of the object over the same time interval as the previous displacement time graph is shown. Recall that the gradient of a velocity time graph is acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent increasing velocity at a constant rate. So, the gradient is positive and constant, indicating constant acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant velocity. So, the gradient is zero, indicating no acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent decreasing velocity at a constant rate. So, the gradient is negative and constant, indicating constant deceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent zero velocity. So, the gradient is zero and no acceleration. At this point, the velocity will change its sign, indicating that the motion's direction will change. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent increasing velocity in the opposite direction at a constant rate. So, the gradient is negative and constant, indicating the acceleration is negative and constant. This shows that the velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant velocity in the opposite direction. So, the gradient is zero, indicating no acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent decreasing velocity in the opposite direction at a constant rate. So, the gradient is positive and constant, indicating the acceleration is positive and constant. This shows that the velocity and acceleration are in opposite directions. The area under graph above x-axis is the displacement move to the right or upward. The area under graph below x-axis is the displacement move to the left or downward. Sketch the acceleration time graph of the object over the same time interval as the previous velocity time graph is shown. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant positive acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent zero acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant negative acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent zero acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant negative acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent zero acceleration. At this section, we draw the graph like this to represent constant positive acceleration. Exam style question 1. The graph shows how the velocity of an object varies with time. Describe how the acceleration of the object varies with time. Your answer should include calculations. The first 9 seconds, the object travels with constant acceleration. This acceleration can be calculated using the gradient of the graph or the equation the acceleration a equals the final velocity v minus the initial velocity u divided by the time t, like this. Substituting the final velocity v as 14, the initial velocity u as 0, and the time t as 9. So, we get the acceleration a as 1.6 meters per square second, to two significant figures. From 9 seconds to 11.75 or round up to 12 seconds, the object travels with constant deceleration. 
This deceleration can be also calculated using the gradient of the graph or the equation where the acceleration a equals the final velocity v minus the initial velocity u divided by the time t. Substituting the final velocity v as 0, the initial velocity u as 14, and the time t as 11.75 minus 9, which is 2.75. So, we get the acceleration a as minus 5.1 meters per square second, to two significant figures. From 12 seconds to 17.5 seconds, the object is traveling in the opposite direction with constant acceleration of 5.1 meters per square second. You get three marks from here. Exam style question 2. A swimmer swims a 100 meters race. A simplified displacement time graph for the swimmer is shown. A. Draw a corresponding velocity time graph for the motion of the swimmer on the axis below. Show all working in the space below. For the first 42 seconds, the swimmer swims with constant velocity. This constant velocity can be calculated using the gradient of the displacement time graph or the equation where the velocity v equals displacement s divided by time t. Substituting the displacement s as 48 meters, and the time t as 42 seconds. So, we get the speed is 1.1 meters per second for two significant figures. The swimmer's velocity decreases to zero at 45 seconds and then the swimmer turns back and accelerates until their velocity is constant again at 48 seconds to 90 seconds. We can calculate this velocity using the gradient or the equation v equals s over t. Substituting the displacement s as negative 48 meters, since the displacement is now in the opposite direction, and the time t as 90 minus 48 seconds. So, we get the speed as 1.1 meters per second for two significant figures. Therefore, we can draw the velocity time graph as follows. From 0 to 42 seconds, a horizontal line at positive 1.1 meters per second. From 42 to 45 seconds, a straight line going from positive 1.1 meters per second to 0 meters per second. From 45 to 48 seconds, a straight line going from 0 meters per second to negative 1.1 meters per second. From 48 to 90 seconds, a horizontal line at negative 1.1 meters per second. You get 4 marks for correct calculation and correct shape of the graph. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.